Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see how we can create, update and delete the record using Power Apps and in the back end, we are using a SharePoint list. Okay, so here is my columns like name, country, mobile number, email, photos and employee number. Alright. And here if I'll click on this edit employee button, button and I can see if I want to update this country to Australia and just click on the save button, you can see the country has been updated. All right. Now, if I want to select any record from this gallery and you can see my form is going to change and we are using like view form, edit form and with the help of view and edit form, we are achieving this functionality. Okay. So, from here, if you want to create a new employee, you can create a new employee as well. EMP underscore 008, name of Rahul, and here choose your country and any mobile number. And here is the email address. And from here, we can choose a photo. Okay. Let's click on the save button and you can see the record has been inserted. Okay. Now, if I want to delete this record, click on this delete button, the record has been deleted. Okay. And if once I will select any record, I can see the record is going to display in this form. So let's get started how we can achieve this functionality. Okay. So here we having a, a blank application. Okay, in this blank application, I will add a gallery control, vertical gallery. This gallery, here we having a data source as a SharePoint list and the employee detail list. Okay, and what I will do, I will create one more. So here we are using three. So first is uh, our uh, name and then second is country and the third is email address. Okay. Now here we are using name and here we are using country and your value. And here we will use the email address. All right, I'll make it okay. So this will looks like good. Okay, now I'll make it little bit small and will drag it as a full gallery. Okay. One more thing we have to do in this gallery, uh, I will go in template fill. And in this template fill, what I will do here, uh, what we are doing, if, if uh, this item dot is selected, then I will change the color else no color okay so now whenever user will click on any record the color is going to change so that we can understand is yes, this item is going to select it okay now here um, okay now here i will add a form edit form All right, and this form I will collect, uh, connect with the same SharePoint list, employee details, and from here I will 
remove my few fields like i don't want to use attachment employee number i'll make it on top the title field i don't want to use okay and what i'll do i will go by two columns okay and if you will see right now there is no record okay but how we can add the record the selected record that we are uh, selecting in this uh, gallery control so here in the item field in the item field gallery one dot selected okay so whenever you will type this gallery one dot selected automatically the values are displaying in this uh you know uh, in this gallery and once you will select these selected fields will be displayed over here okay so the selected item you can see is going to change on the change of this gallery control now what i what i need to do i will add a button here okay so the use of this button is Click on save or click on submit whatever you want and on this on select what i will do submit form and form one okay now whenever you want to change any record so suppose for this uh, user Rahul, I want to change from uh, the country USA to India and click on the save button. You can see the country name. Okay, let me change for USA to Sunil. Okay, it's going to change. All right. Now, what I need to do, so suppose. You can see here now if I'll change from Nitesh Australia to India, then what happened? The record is going to change, but I want the selected record should be uh, the modified last modified record should be come on the top. Okay, so for that I will go in this uh, data source. Okay, and in this data source I will create a sort function and sort by modified and descending okay so whenever user will suppose i will change to australia click on this okay this record is going on the top okay so suppose for surya i want to change profile picture okay you can see the profile picture is going to change now this the record whenever user are going to click on this select button i want this record should come in the view form okay i don't want in edit form so for that for that what i need to do i will go in uh you know on select and on select On select view form and form one okay before that set form form one okay now you can see we are getting the record as expected okay but why why here is save button on the view form so for that what i will do i will go on the visible property and in this visible property uh form one dot form one 
got more uh, what I can do um, one dot more is not equals to um, more dot view okay now whenever you will select this you can see the button the save button is going to uh, visual false okay and we can see our records now our challenge is whenever a user want to edit this record he should be added the record as well okay so for that i will create a button control here okay and this button will be added employee okay and on this added employee on select what should happen of form mode dot added or form one dot added form okay now whenever i will click on this you can see the form is going to add it okay and instantly the save button is going to visible true now if suppose i'm going to change this country from australia to india for sunil and click on the save button you can see the country is going to change okay so our edit and view functionality is working as expected okay so now if i want to change this name surya to uh, sachin and this should not be happened because uh, this name should be you know a uh, primary key kind of because the employee number but our aim to our aim is not uh you know uh that like we have to create primary or foreign he kind of but the aim is to add it and delete and insert a new record in a sharepoint list okay so uh what i will do for new i'll have to add a new button here and this will be new employee okay so on the new employee on select what i will do first i will reset form and form one instantly i will create a new form okay so now what happened i'll click on new form the form will go form will reset first and it will open a new form us to insert a new employee okay and here i will provide a name like uh uh, uh, uh lakshman okay and i will choose country as india choose a photo click on save button you can see the record is going to insert as per expected okay now we have achieved a um, new employee edit employee and view the data view employee our last target is to delete the record so that what i will do i will add a new button and here i will delete employee and on this delete employee what i will do i will go and remove employee details and the selected 
gal1 dot selected so whenever user will click on this delete employee you can see this record has been deleted from the gallery okay so in this video what you learn you can create new employee okay you can edit employee you can delete employee okay so i hope you like this video and if you like this video you can subscribe my channel tips by anil and see you in my next video or if you have any uh, idea any suggestion in your mind that on which topic i'll have to create my new video in the power apps i'll prefer that as well okay thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye see you